Sodium hydroxide, more commonly known as caustic, is used at Freeport McMoran's Miami Operations site for a variety of purposes. As part of the environmental system upgrades, we use larger quantities of caustic in our scrubbers to remove more sulfur dioxide gas, SO2. This reduces the SO2 emissions from the smelter and helps the site meet environmental regulations. Here at Miami, caustic is received primarily as a 50% solution at our Zone 4 caustic storage area. In our caustic storage area, the 50% solution is diluted to a 20% solution. The 20% solution is pumped across the site and will be metered into our scrubbers to eliminate SO2 and maintain scrubber pH. The main locations where caustic is used are the vent fume scrubber, the aisle scrubber, and the tail stack scrubber. Understanding the health hazards associated with caustic is critical for working safely. Caustic is extremely corrosive to human tissue. It can cause serious burns, redness, and pain if skin or eye contact is made. Inhalation of caustic can cause breathing difficulties. Ingestion can result in severe abdominal pain, shock, and in some cases, may even be fatal. Caustic is also corrosive to certain metals, for example, aluminum. For this reason, it's important to note materials of construction when working around caustic. It's critical to understand there is typically a period between the time of exposure and onset of health symptoms. Because of its delayed effects, it is imperative to immediately remove any caustic liquid from skin and seek medical attention promptly. Burns from caustic can be slow healing, and the treatment process may take a long time. In case of skin or eye contact, immediately flush skin or eyes with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes. Cold water may be used. Even if you only suspect contact with caustic has occurred, treat the potentially exposed area as if it is an actual exposure. This is a demonstration of the delayed effects of caustic using chicken to represent human tissue. This is a demonstration of the corrosive effects of caustic on aluminum. These photographs demonstrate the heat rapidly released when small amounts of water are mixed with caustic. As you can see from the thermometer, when caustic is added to a small amount of water, 
there is significant temperature increase. Due to the heat generated when water reacts with caustic, it's important to be mindful of tasks happening when walking through areas where potential overspray could occur. When caustic comes in contact with acid, it may react violently. This is a small-scale demonstration of an acid-base interaction using caustic and sulfuric acid. Remember, caustic is corrosive to human tissue, reacts violently with acid and metals, such as aluminum, and generates heat when diluted with water.